All right, 172 pound brackets. Uh, again, Glenn and I breaking them down uh, throughout the night. Uh, Glenn, I don't know if you saw a Sixers big win tonight. Uh, first uh, first game at home with Harden. Big game being the Knicks. Uh, that Thanks. went on in, in the background. Uh, you know, just a time check in case everyone's one. About 10:45 p.m. on Wednesday night, we're getting a little recording done, uh, and you know, overcame some technical difficulties earlier in the evening to get to where we're at right now so we're just going to continue to forge on these last few weight classes uh this weight class again it it, it, it highlights uh, a lot of a lot of talented guys led by dom diagostino um it, you know uh, i I'm, I'm curious to see a few matches here um you know diagostino has been really tough inside district one this year uh and and really for for like two years now, he's been, he's been real tough inside district one, uh, you know, surrendering only, a, you know, just very few losses. Uh, I don't have the exact number. And, uh, you know, he was a state medalist last year, finishing six, definitely looking to improve upon it. Uh, you know, had the chance to cover him uh, at the true power event in Tyrone earlier in the year where he took out uh Stockton Valley senior, I believe Josh Jones, one of the Jones brothers there uh, again, and uh, just handled him there. And that was back in October and he looked like he was in prime shape then. Uh, and again, he's only been on a tear since. So uh, Diagostino is, is a guy this weight class that is, uh, you know, definitely the favorite to win. But, you know, he's got his work cut out for him. There's guys that, that if he's not careful, uh, can definitely sting him. Um, if we look, uh, you know. Yeah, I mean, uh, I just want to piggyback on Diagostino a little bit. Um I don't think he's been scored on very much in district one. The points that uh, guys are getting are from him or he, he's cutting them and letting them go. Um, he likes to work uh, on his feet. He likes to scramble. He likes to pin. And uh, he is a beast. Um, I mean, he, I believe he's uh, second ranked in the state right now uh, on PA power. Am I right on that Joe? Or has he dropped the three? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll live check that. Or yeah. I, I think he's, no. he's number two. Um, you know, he, he is just on a mission, um, and he is very businesslike as well. Another one of these guys down in Interboro that, um, you know, we don't get to see a lot, um, but, you know, he is all business. I, I think he is on a bit of a mission, um, and, you know, I know Siemens back. Uh, it's going to be a great final. I have it pretty much the same way uh, that you do, um, you know, going through here other than um, uh, Barrett and that Updale match. We can talk about that, but – um, this this weight class has some talent too, um, you know, some some talent that we, we may be able to get somebody else uh, up on the podium, like you said after that 160. Like, you know, who who's going to follow? Um, and the Augustino Seaman, um, you know, and maybe even Bechtel the way he's wrestling. So you know, there there's some good, uh, you know, solid wrestlers here at 172, and there's no, you know, no easy matches once you get through the prelims at all. Right. Uh, D'Agostino on the fact check is ranked second behind Rocco Wells from Waynesburg. And right behind him is Talon Hogan's cousin, Tucker, who's a sophomore, Daniel Boone. So just to, to, you know, go back to circle back to what we talked about in the last bracket. But um, I have, uh, you know, let's go back and let's look at the first round here. Uh, uh, some matches that stand out to me that, that you might want to keep an eye on in the first round. Um, uh, there's two that come to mind. There's the... Um, the Lackman Terrell Dorsey. Dorsey match. Yeah, it's a good one. Uh, I just love the Dorsey. It's like he's he's like an anytime, anywhere, any place type of guy, and he's gonna go. He's gonna show up, and he's gonna he's gonna throw. He's gonna compete. Uh, and as as well as Lockman is wrestling, he's got to be weary. He can't look past him uh, to what would be lurking in the quarterfinals. And the other one, based upon the results over the weekend, I'm interested in this Jimmy Halley Dylan Verwe match. Uh, down at the bottom there, East number two, uh, Verway from North Penn. He's only wrestled 21 matches, 15 and six. He's a senior, and Jimmy Halley, the senior from Marple Newtown, the lone Marple Newtown representative at regionals. He's always been around, and he's been in those in the rankings in and out. Uh, you know, obviously he's a senior looking to put it together. But it, uh, you know, uh, as you can see, I have Halley and I have Lockman winning, and uh, out of these quarterfinals, uh, Diagostino win. I got Bechtold winning over Lockman. Two guys that are like uh, they're they're like mat rats. Um, all things I hear from the Quaker Town coaches about the 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 off season time that Lockman put in uh, to get where he's at. He was like a fourteen and seventeen guy last year. 
And, uh, and as a freshman, he goes to 32 and seven now as a sophomore. Bechtold is a sophomore. He's probably 30 and six. He got hurt last year, missed most of the season. I think he was like six and oh or five and oh when he got hurt. Um, again, another guy, it's like a mad rat. Just like if there's a place to go wrestle, he's fine in it. And uh, then we go down the bottom half, and the bottom half like has three, like you know, four guys in that quarterfinal, in my opinion. Darrell Barrett, who's a returning state qualifier, Nils Updale, who's got a win over Bechtold. I believe it escaped the rock. I, I, they wrestled. It was a two, one match. Halley's tough. And then Merrick Seaman, again, coming off injury, only has wrestled 16 matches, but really has looked himself from last year. Uh, he's beaten Barrett twice. Now I think he beats Halley. I think Barrett beats Updale. I think Bechtel beats Lockman and Diagostino beats uh, Beltrante. Um, and as you can see, I got Diagostino and Seaman winning and Diagostino. Uh, I think, I think Seaman gives him some fits. Uh, but ultimately, I think uh, yeah, because of Siemens' athleticism and his strength, we'll be able to kind of neutralize what Dom will want to do. But ultimately, I think Diagostino wears him down in the third. Yeah, so, you know, I got a little bit different, uh, you know, in the in the quarters um, with um, – I have, uh, you know, Lackman and, and Bechtold. I mean, obviously, that's the same. And, and Beltrante against Di Diagostino. I got Bechtold and Diagostino. Diagostino getting the finals and beating Seaman. But the, the Barrett, Updale, uh, I have Updale, you know, getting by Barrett there. Uh, I just think that Updale's had one of those seasons um, – that has just been absolutely phenomenal uh, as a, for a senior. I mean, total complete, uh, you know, change in his level of wrestling. Um, uh, you know, he, he was upset uh, by Beerway from North Penn uh, last week. Um, he's going to come in with, with some fire. Um, so that's the, the one big difference I have right there. I do have, uh, you know, Beerway beating Hal. I know you just talked a little bit about him. Um, just because he's hot, I have him in there, and he's from the square one leg, of course. But uh, just kidding. But Maybe Seaman not. definitely, Seaman definitely is the guy uh, down below. Um, you know, Seaman uh, against Bad or Seaman against Updale really won't matter. I think Seaman's uh, the the other uh, finalist here. Um, and Do Augustino, like I said, I, it's his weight class to lose, really. So we roll down to the the bottom half. We got Siegel and Gilbert. I got Gilbert winning that match. Uh, Dorcius and Chez, Dorcius winning. Uh, set up a match with Updale. Again, that, that one, I think you can flip a coin again. Glad I know you have Updale beating. Um, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Barrett. But I think Updale, uh, they, it's either going to be Updale or, or Barrett in that spot. And Dorcius, again, he's dangerous there. I uh, got Huntoon and Ramosco. I got Ramosco uh, beating him. And then I got uh, Verway beating Horvath. Uh, Beltrante beating Verway, Lockman beating Ramosco, uh, Updale beating Dorcius, Halley beating Gilbert. Uh, and then he got Updale and Bechtold in a rematch from that, that two, one, uh, you know, barn burner. Uh, I, and I said, I believe it was at escape the rock and I, I could be wrong, but I know, um, they wrestled somewhere in the wrestle backs and, uh, I got Bechtold on, on, uh, in revenge season winning that match. I got Barrett being Lockman and Bechtold beating Barrett. Uh, and then I have Barrett being Updale to go to States. I know you probably see it differently because you, uh, you know, you're, you're riding with Updale and I, I totally understand that, but let, let's, uh, let's hear how you have it. We can't have Barrett winning fifth place and th fourth place. Can you? Oh, wow, man. Sorry. Uh, that's so, just, or Lockman. It was, should have been Lockman. My fault. That's all right. I'm just, I'm, some people probably don't listen to us. They just look at our, our bracket. So I figured I'd correct that for you. So, yeah, I mean, I, I think we got the right, you know, six here um, for sure. Again, um, this is one of those weight classes where there is a little bit of drop off. Yeah, Dorsey is, is dangerous. Um, and, you know, uh, Bechtel is definitely, you know, he's improved from day one. Um, you know, we were talking about that when we saw him. Uh, earlier in the year, uh, we watched him win win some good matches this year. So, you know he he's going to get he's going to punch his ticket somewhere. Um, I don't think um, you know Updale is going to be left behind. I think we talked about TV East a little bit. I think this is one of the guys that's going to get through. Um, and I I'm not really sure, like I said, because I have a little bit of a, a difference um, who he might see um, up top there. Well, he would be dropping straight down. So, you know, I, I think he, he'll take care of business wherever he is. But 
it's going to be someone's getting left out here too, a, a good wrestler. Um, so I, I, these are tough to pick once you get into, um, you know, leaving this one guy home, it's tough, but it, I think we got the right six here. So uh, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to throw any, throw anybody out. Uh, they're going to have to battle it out. So, but this is going to be another weight class, Joe, where, um, you know, there's going to be an upset somewhere too. You know, I, I don't think yeah. we, we may, ha- we may not have it right in, in the, um, in, in the quarterfinals, we might have an upset in there. Uh, like I said, I have Updale. Uh, hey, maybe Lockman beats Bechtold. You know, so that just changes things a little bit. But you're right; those matches will then reoccur down here, either right there in the uh, Conti semis or in the fifth place bout. So we'll we'll get to see those bouts. Yeah, a hundred percent. I, you know, we're gonna we're gonna see a lot of quality wrestling out of this weight class. Hundred percent, I agree. So, folks, that's how we see it at 172 pounds. Uh, again, somewhat in agreement, but somewhat not. Uh, it's kind of a trend. We kind of like in agree and not agree, but uh, we're going to turn the page and, and uh, move on to 180, 189. 